What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a quick guide for you in Lord of the Rings Return to Moria on how to drain the pumps and repair the drain pumps. Now, real quick, if you are not at this point in the game yet, do not watch this video. Do not watch this in prior preparation for doing it. It will spoil something massive and awesome, so just don't, all right? Only watch this video if you're already here. If you're already here, you need to bring with you enough stuff to build a hearth, a furnace and three replacement pipes. So you can see what I've got here on my bar. You're going to need some Ushami wood, some iron ingots, all that stuff. So you need to be able to build a hearth once you get over there. You need the wood to be able to build the jetties when you get over there and you need a forge. If you can afford it, you want to bring the stuff to also make the fast travel point, the stone, the map atlas, whatever it's called, because when you drain the water, you have to walk back still. It doesn't drain the water like you think it's going to. Um, so if you can bring the stuff to make one of the map tables, that's fine. If not, not a big issue. You just have to walk back across. So you need to make sure you bring the stuff for a hearth, the furnace and the free replacement pipes. I don't recommend coming fully stocked with gear because we've died several times doing this. It is a bit of a buggy encounter. Um, so just bring what you can afford to lose. Don't bring a stack of black diamonds or anything crazy like that. Once you're here, you want to use the jetty recipe, move to the middle platform that I'm on now, the one that's partially submerged, head to the far left and then build the jetty platform over the side towards the waterfall you can just see in the corner of my screen there. Um, it's not a foolproof method. The uh, watcher can still get you from under the water. It does also sometimes randomly appear in the waterfall itself, like it'll pop up from through the rock and start smacking you about. Um, we died in one hit with or without armor, so I just decided not to bring most of my stuff because I lost it all here anyway. So once you're on this side, you're relatively safe. Um, just get across as quickly as you can, ideally without drowning. As of all the sort of stuff, when you're trying a big task in this, make sure you go early in the day so the darkness isn't an issue. Make sure you're fully stocked up on food so you can heal and that kind of stuff. I've just bought the very bare essentials here. Once you get to the other side, there's this large structure and inside the structure is a lever you need to pull to activate the drain pipes. But firstly, much like the great furnace of Navri earlier on in the game, the pipes are busted. So you need to repair the pipes here in order to make the great drain function. Um, obviously, watch out for the shadow stuff. That makes your day bad real quick. Um, unfortunately, there are random groups of enemy orcs that can just randomly spawn here, like five foot from your face. So it can be quite a mess solo if you haven't bought weapons in that. Um, if you can afford to lose a weapon or two, by all means, bring one with you. But it's not a necessity. You can just tank them and run away if you have to. Once you're here, you need to build your hearth first. Um, once your hearth is down, so any hearth other than the first one, the little campfire one doesn't work. You need the actual hearth. And then you put down your furnace or your forge, sorry. Whichever this one is, the forge, there you go. And then build the free replacement pipes. Now, the reason you bring all this over here is because the replacement pipes don't go in your inventory like most items. You have to carry them. They're really big and it makes you really slow. So you're just going to get caught and killed by the watcher trying to bring these across the water. So get the free replacement pipes. I'm assuming this is the same for everybody. It might not be. There are procedurally generated elements in this game, so it might be different. But hopefully this will give you enough clues if it is. All you need is the three pipes. You've got the one pipe I've just done there. There's another pipe here just outside that's above you. The main pipe that it's attached to counts as a wall. So you're going to have to climb up to the side, use the little wooden platforms you can build with V to build a bridge up there so you can put the pipe in like Johnny just did. Um, if you want to sort of speed it up a little bit and avoid the purple stuff, you can press R on the keyboard. This brings up your throwing arc. You can then throw the item. Obviously, be careful because if you throw it and leave it in the middle of the purple mist, it's going to ruin your day even further. So once you've got the replacement pipe again, you might need to build sort of little stages and whatnot to get up to where you need to get to. Uh, that one you can just reach. Once all of them are repaired, you can head back into the main room and then switch the furnace on. This is when the enemies spawn for us, but it does seem to be a bit random. So you might need to tank them around a little bit, run through one door out the other, that, that kind of thing. And um, once you're inside, the lever's on the left next to the big cog. You can see it just there, just hanging off the wall. So that's all you have to do is go over. 